Hey guys, William Warfield here with you one more time. King of Stream is, uh, I'm going to show you how to use LiveScore app with Wirecast. So this is how you do it using Wirecast. So we got our uh, LiveScore app uh, software, it's up. We got our graphic already made here as you can see. Um, so how do I get my graphic? Well first off, let me, let me show you this. Let me show you that you can control your graphic here there's a controller uh to where you can you know do ball strikes all that good stuff so we'll start a fresh game there you see top of the first um but uh you can control ball strikes it'll keep up automatically with the with the pitch count as long as you choose it to do that way um but but you can see that uh we're able to control all the functions of a baseball game right here including the pitch count uh men on bases as you see as uh, I'm doing that, uh, of course, your outs, you're able to control that as well. Uh, your innings, uh, you can change side. It changes from top to bottom. So there you have it as far as controlling the graphic. But uh, And there's also iPad apps that you can get as well. So uh, we highly recommend those for additional charges. Uh, you're able to get those onto your iPad. Hand it over to a student intern uh, with little to no experience, and they'll be able to control it really, really easily. But... Uh, how do we get this into to Wirecast? Well, the solution is simple. I'm going to minimize this program. It can run in the background, um, especially if you're using the iPad app. It's it's very easy to use again. Uh, but uh, this is Wirecast here, and uh, basically in Live Score, we'll pull that back up here for a second. But you come over here to Edit, you go to Settings, and you could tell it right here when you go to Output Rendering. Um, you could tell it where to put your image file. Um, so we got our image file set to our desktop. We'll go ahead and save that. Um, we want to make sure that under output settings up here, the image output is selected and that generate image um, is being done right now. So we're going to minimize this as well. Uh, go back to Wirecast. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the graphic and I'm going to drag it into Wirecast. Make sure you get that little level, uh, excuse me, yellow line there uh, lit up so that uh, you're able to do so. So I click on it, and well, the uh, the graphic is right where I don't want it to be. So how do I change that? Well, I'm going to hit this little gear icon, this little uh, gear icon right there. And I'm going to hit Edit Shot. So we're going to Edit Shot, and then I'm going to be able to just drag it where I want it to go so I'm gonna drag it about right there I think that's fine now I'll retake it here um, and there you see um, so I've got my uh, we got we're using a viewcast card we also got a deck link hooked up into um, our wirecast here but but we got the uh, Osprey card with the color bars there just so that you can get an idea that's how you uh, do your overlay graphic there so you want to you want to bring it on the top line uh, line number one um, line number five has always got to be your video cameras um, if you're using more overlay. So with Wirecast, you can go four overlays on top of your video overlay, which is number five. So uh, just to keep that in mind. But uh, there you see it. I've got it. Uh, I've got it selected. It's over my color bars, which means if I had a video signal there, it would be over my video. Uh, just to take it off, you could do this. Um, just go to blank shot and then to bring it back up you just click it back again so that's how you use live score app with Wirecast again just drag it into your uh, number one there uh, timeline and uh, just uh, you know position it where you want to using the gear icon under edit shot and you'll be all set to use live score app with Wirecast